hello friends so i am so excited to film this video today i've been talking about this for a hot minute almost a month at this point i just wanted to find the perfect time to talk about this i know that the lighting is kind of weird but i'm just using the natural light from my windows i am in my dorm and i made this face look as cute as I could. I'm just very excited to talk about this because it is something that has been very near and dear to my heart for the last few weeks. I just really wanted to find a good moment where I could just sit down and tell you my thoughts. That is what we're going to do today. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, obviously you can tell by the title, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, in my drive with me that I posted that I was like going to get my planner and I was talking about like my new year's like goals and things like that. I talked about how I felt like the Lord was really revealing to me that I needed to embrace the season that I was in, which for me is singleness. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I think that anyone can and should watch this video because either way you should be running to the Lord as much as you would if you were single as you would if you were dating or married. So to make a long introduction short, I'm going to be talking about how and why you should embrace your season of singleness and why it is so important for you to thrive in it and not sulk in it. We're just two friends chilling in my dorm room, sitting all comfy, and we're gonna talk about the Lord and about the things that he has for you. Okay, so I kind of have it broken into three different sections, and I don't know if I'm gonna bounce back and forth. I don't know if I'm gonna just cover them all in the same section. I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but I have some notes in my phone. The three categories I have are scripture, wisdom, and worship. If you didn't see the drive with me, I kind of talked about how basically what happened was I was alone on New Year's Eve. I watched Passion. I was kind of insecure about that. I've never full on went into a new year alone and like that's kind of intense and so I just felt like that was the Lord saying like I am enough like you don't need people around you because I'm here with you. I started reading this amazing book around the middle of December and it's called When God Writes Your Love Story by Eric and Leslie Ludy. Oh my goodness this book literally it is so packed full of good stuff. This couple is like working for the Lord like this is so good. It says the ultimate guide to guy girl relationships but honestly it covers every single relationship in your life like whether that's parental friendship relationship oh my goodness this is so good and i completely recommend you read this i was so skeptical like my mom got me this book i think like probably four or five years ago and i was like i don't know because this book doesn't look very exciting i've never heard anything about it normally like when i read books it's because people are like oh my gosh you have to read this book but you have to read this book i recommend everyone read this book like whether you are single in a relationship in engaged, married, whatever, guys and girls. I am not someone that believes in coincidences. I feel like most coincidences are always like God things. There were like, a few days that I feel like kind of convicted about something and then like I would read the chapter that night and it would be about that. They were like, yeah, you shouldn't be doing that boo. And I'm like, oh man, which I'll talk about that as well. Oh my golly, that book is so good. I could probably read that so many times and not be tired of it and still get something out of it because it is packed full. Could not recommend that book enough because that is basically what has inspired kind of this whole thing even though like it's obviously like the lord inspiring this i feel like whenever i first started talking about this the way that i sound is like i've been in a relationship for a long time i'm finally realizing that i can be single and secure but like i've really been single my whole life there's been a few months where there's been some like things that going on mostly i've been single but it's like i was not like embracing my singleness like i feel like this is the first time like in my entire life that i've full-on been like oh like i am okay like without a man like, there's been like like a few months where I'm like oh I don't need a guy blah, blah blah but I'm not like embracing my singleness like to glorify the Lord it was really just like I'm fine without a man I've talked to so many people about this and I'm like so glad that I'm finally being able to share this with y'all because this is just something very very near and dear to my heart and I have been waiting to film this. I just wanted this video, not that it's gonna be perfect, but I wanted it to be the best it could be because I'm really hoping that this video will reach a lot of people. And if it doesn't, then we Gucci. It's fine, that's not what the Lord had for this video, but I still am so excited just to share this with the few people that will see this video. How this video came about was I had all these things that were put on my heart, but also I didn't have like an outline or anything like that. But then I started going through all of the sermons that I listened to last semester because I like taking notes. There were so many little pieces from every sermon that just really like clicked together. That's like the wisdom part of this video. They're from sermons or this book or the Bible or other things. One of the main points in the book 
was how you are living now is not only affecting you and your life and your future it's also affecting your spouse's future the decisions you're making now are impacting like someone else's life it's not just like oh i have to live with this for the rest of my life like, if you want to get married like your spouse is gonna live with that as well i feel like that just has to completely turn around like a selfish point of view you feel like oh i'm just living like to pleasure myself so i can have a good life making the present good but it's also affecting your future and it's also affecting that person that you're hoping to spend the rest of your life with the lord can heal you you can repent from those things and i believe that you can be completely like washed away of those sins but i'm just saying you have to realize that to do it it might not even be for like physical things that are happening it could just be things in your mind another thing on here that i feel like that leads into one thing that i learned this last semester was it's like a phrase that i use so much i feel like every single guy that i like used to encounter i'd be like oh my gosh like he could be a potential boyfriend but like why am i not thinking of these guys like first of all just as friends like someone that i can get to know and like, grow a friendship with but also like this is the quote guys are not made for my pleasure but for god's purpose full on just over here like all the guys like oh he's so cute he's so cute i now instead of thinking that of course i slip up obviously i'm not perfect i'll be like god's purpose god's purpose and i've told a few people that they're like yeah every time i do that i'm like god's purpose <laughs> just hear my voice in your head going god's purpose i feel like that's been something that like really helped but also i didn't do that right when i learned that but now that's kind of like that needs to be happening another thing i had on here which was really for me because i feel like that was something that i would always do every time you gain a guy friend try to break the habit of seeing him as a potential boyfriend so what you should be seeing him as is like what is the lord gonna do through his life the lord has put him in my life like for a purpose i'm probably gonna grow through this whatever it may be the purpose of him being there is not so you can ponder over him and be like oh my gosh he's so cute so that you can try and get with him you know not like that but you know you know also another thing that really like ooh, when you interact with guys or guys when you interact with girls you are interacting with another woman's future husband or for guys like you're interacting with another guy's future wife how would that change your interactions with them to me i was like oh my gosh i don't like all these girls like flirting with my future husband like so why would i be doing that i'm not perfect once again i yes i have all of these pieces of advice but we're all gonna slip up we're not perfect but just like knowing these things and striving to be better is better than not trying at all guys you are interacting with someone's future wife you saying like what if, what if she's my wife that still doesn't justify it unless you're like dating or engaged or whatever i keep saying like girls stop looking at guys for your pleasure and for god's purpose but also like guys stop looking at girls for your pleasure and start looking at them for god's purpose oh my golly if we all looked at everyone for god's purpose i feel like life would be so much different i feel like this is a pretty common piece of advice but become who the person you are looking for is looking for if you're looking for someone that loves the lord puts the lord above everyone else is nice like is respectful are you being those things are you nice like are you respectful are you putting the lord above everything else like is he the center point of your life or are you just like wanting those things and then not even doing them and then also this one i've been trying to listen to a lot more podcasts recently so i feel like some of these are also from that you do not need to be in a relationship to pursue your calling or purpose god has equipped you for those things from him the reason that you want to be with this person shouldn't be because you can't start your walk with the lord without them or you can't go to a different state and like be a missionary or go to a different country and be a missionary without I'm not saying that that's everyone's purpose because it's not you do not need another man or woman if you're a guy to complete you to be able to pursue your purpose the lord is the one that's there for you like for that purpose there's also a verse in the bible that says like he's given you everything you need to live godly life mm, man that's so good God has equipped you for those things from him not from that person you are not looking for a person to complete you but to compliment you that's also like kind of going off that they're not going to complete you you cannot find that hole in your heart from someone else you're only going to find that from the lord and this one also goes into that if you put like the title of god the responsibility of god on your husband it's just going to be like a crappy marriage i feel like this was in a sermon that i listened to but it said amazing husband crappy god you cannot put your husband on a pedestal like that only god can fill that place in your heart and, like your husband isn't going to do that or your wife you know like once again i'm talking about this for either point of view they aren't going to do well in that position because your husband your wife is human they're going to make mistakes they aren't going to be perfect like god is 
they can't do that don't put the responsibility of god on your husband or wife because it's gonna fail and then this last one is more of like the rejection point of view so that's why there's only really one thing about this i was listening to a podcast it was like over the summer and it said rejection is god's protection like that feels like such a small thing and also like what if they're gonna reject you then that's not the person for you the lord has it so perfectly planned out he is just protecting you from more hurt than that little bit of rejection would hurt you so that's about all the wisdom portion that i have now i'm gonna move into scripture which there's also wisdom from scripture i'm just gonna go through every single verse that i have which could be a lot and it could take a long time but i just was reading these before this and i was like oh yeah that's good like half of these are psalms just because i read psalms i think it took me four months to read through psalms but i 100 percent completely recommend you reading through psalms if like you haven't yet because it's so good a lot of it is just based on like taking refuge in the lord he is your stronghold not a guy not a girl like he is gonna be that stronghold psalm 27 13 to 14 says i remain confident of this i will see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living wait for the lord be strong and take heart and wait for the lord first of all like i will see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living there will be goodness coming out of this season out of every season you walk through there is goodness there from the lord you just have to like find that goodness through him no you're not going to find that in this world because this world is broken and the psalmist says wait for the lord be strong and take heart and wait for the lord exodus 14 14 i don't have that written down but i know that it's very similar the lord will fight for you you only need to be still just wait for the lord he's gonna do something so amazing no telling what he has for you in the future if you just wait his timing is perfect it's going to exceed your expectations psalm 37 4 says take delight in the lord and he will give you the desires of your heart if the lord knows your desires he knows that if you want a husband if you want a wife he will give you the desires of your heart as long as they line up with his will psalm 59 17 says you are my strength i sing praise to you you god are my fortress my god on whom i can rely so that kind of goes along with like me saying that psalms is really refuge we can rely on the lord like he is my fortress so psalm 63 i wrote down verses 1 5 and 8 but if you just go read psalm 63 it is too good psalm 63 1 says you god are my god earnestly i seek you i thirst for you my whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water that paints such a beautiful picture of like in a dry parched land where there is no water i thirst for you the way that you would if you were so thirsty am i longing for the lord like that also verse 5 says i will be fully satisfied as with the richest of foods with singing lips my mouth will praise you that one's just so beautiful because i shouldn't be finding my satisfaction in a guy i need to be fully satisfied in the lord like from the richest foods that one kind of gets me because i for sure like struggled with finding my satisfaction in not only a guy but also just in people in general it's just so beautiful whenever you find like your satisfaction in the lord you're like you don't need anything anyone else but also godly people in your life are so good and so needed like i said in my last video if like you're fully satisfied with him oh it's such a great thing verse 8 says i cling to you your right hand upholds me what am i clinging to like are you clinging to the lord or are you clinging to like this world of like wanting to be loved by people psalm 63 is just very good about really earnestly seeking the lord and longing and being satisfied in the lord psalm 116 5 through 7 says the lord is gracious and righteous our god is full of compassion the lord protects the unwary when i was brought low he saved me return to your rest my soul for the lord has been good to you i feel like that just sums up the person of jesus he's gracious righteous full of compassion he protects he saves he gives rest who good i did not used to find like such beauty in his word now we're finally done with psalms not finally because we love psalms proverbs 19 21 says many are the plans in a person's heart but it is the lord's purpose that prevails i like just recently learned that verse it was in like a Jess and Gabriel video. He said that and I was like, wow we can make so many plans that we want to be married by this point want to have kids by this point but the lord's purpose for your life is what's gonna happen either way so you might as well not put those expectations on your life because the lord will completely obliterate those plans in like the best way possible romans 8 5 through 6 i was just reading through romans and i think i found this because of that those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires but those who live in accordance with the spirit have their minds set on what the spirit desires 
the mind governed by the flesh is death but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace i feel like i keep saying that <sighs> it's so beautiful but like god's word is so beautiful just the way that all these verses like click together is that not what we want like we want life and we want peace so like why would we not want what god wants for us why would we not let the spirit guide our life because the spirit is going to bring us life and peace way better than what the flesh is going to bring us which it says is hostile to god it does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. Those who are in the realm of flesh cannot please God. That was verse 7 and 8, by the way. 1 Corinthians 7, 34 to 35. I also just read 1 Corinthians. An unmarried woman or virgin is concerned about the Lord's affairs. Her aim is to be devoted to the Lord in both body and spirit. But a married woman is concerned about the affairs of this world, how she can please her husband. I'm saying this for your own good, not to restrict you, but that you may live in a right way in undivided devotion to the Lord. Undivided devotion. I don't think this is saying like you should not get married because then you won't have undivided devotion to the Lord. To me, this is just pointing out the importance of whenever you are like a virgin, whenever you are unmarried, because that's whenever you can learn to have undivided devotion to the Lord. And then whenever you add another person to that and they're doing the same thing, it should be easier whenever you're already trained to do that. When I read this, I was kind of like, oh, that's a little harsh. Before it, it also says, I would like you to be free from concern. An unmarried man is concerned about the Lord's affairs, how he can please the Lord. But a married man is concerned about the affairs of this world and how he can please his wife and his interests are divided. And then it goes on an unmarried woman. Our aim should be devoted to the Lord in both body and spirit. What a beautiful thing. We need to like embrace this season of undivided devotion. Like, is that not such a cool phrase? Undivided devotion. Like I haven't even realized that till just now. Undivided devotion. So flowy. I feel like my goal with this is just try and like shine some light. If you're single, it is okay. And I for sure like have heard people say that and I'm like, I know it's okay. You saying it isn't making it easy which I get if you take your focus off of like I'm single I'm never gonna get married I'm never gonna have kids blah 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 and you focus it on okay Lord like what do you have for me why am I alone right now like obviously you're teaching me something it's just such a beautiful time and I'm so glad that I have like had this realization now. God is so good. I just don't know how people live without the Lord. I just want everyone to know about Jesus and like his love for us his beautiful unfailing love for us it's so good oh the one thing i kind of never talked about was that one thing that kind of happened that like i'd be convicted of like in the moment and then i'd read the book another thing going along with like your future husband future wife whatever not just like who you're being with how you're acting with people but also like what you're doing in your alone time i watched this like romance movie and it wasn't even romance it was like intense i'll just tell you what it was it was after we collided and i definitely don't recommend you watching that movie over the summer i watched after and i was like oh my gosh like i want to see how it turns out like I watched after over the summer yes it was gross but like I just wasn't convicted of it then I had to skip through like half the movie basically it was pretty disgusting I was like I just feel so gross watching this and I've never felt like that with a movie I was like why am I watching movies like this that portray guys in a way that I don't want my husband to be like that so why would I be feeding myself false ideas of a husband that night I read a chapter in the book and it was like yeah I had to stop watching romance movies romance movies make at least me make me want like a guy because they like see what they have and then you compare yourself and that's once again another thing that we shouldn't do we shouldn't compare ourselves to other people i kind of did like a fast from romance movies it was really good i don't think that i'm gonna stop that honestly i think what i might do is just be very aware of what i'm watching and like realize this is not real and also like not watch like horrible movies like that like that was horrible movies like how to lose a guy in 10 days it's more light-hearted like rom-coms are like a lot better than whatever that was i also just thought i'd share that because that was something that i went through and did what i kind of I got reminded of that was from these worship songs and i love romance movies songs like all the things to me these are like romance songs with the lord if your idea of romance is very worldly if you listen to these and just like listen to the words they were so so good so the first one is first love by carrie Job, and it says like you're still my first love you're still my only one your love is wild for me I want to stay forever like this. And then Lost in Your Love by Brandon Lake. I had never heard this song before and it was so good. I was like, oh my goodness. It says, I'm going all in. I'm not scared to get lost in your love. The Lord's love is like the one love that you don't need to be scared to get lost in. To be so wrapped up in the romance with the Lord that nothing bad is going to happen from you being lost in the Lord's love. Like 
yes in like a worldly romance it would be but like not in the loads and then love like this from belonging co it's not a love i have to earn you don't leave me where you found me i've never known a love like this so beautiful my heart is yours he picks you up and he takes you with him and you are like with him all the time you're not alone also we do not have to earn his love because if we did we wouldn't have it jesus died on the cross for us and so we didn't have to earn his love jesus earned it for us nothing else by cody carnes he just was like i just want you like nothing else nothing else i just want you maybe i should play like little clips of those songs i'll just play lost in your love because that one is really good wherever you go god i will follow i'm not scared to get lost in your love to god i've never known love like this so beautiful i'll never get used to this my heart is yours those are the only two i'm going to show you i'll link all of those songs down below okay so <laughs> that was a lot i just am very happy because this has just been on my heart and i really hope that this at least reached one of you impacted one of your lives i know it's not going to be like a quick switch it took a few days a few weeks things that i was getting taught last semester have led into this so it takes time i know most people won't be completely transformed by this video like the second that they watch it if this is something that the lord is putting on your heart then you watch this video for a reason if you just wait for the lord be strong take heart and wait for the lord he's gonna do some amazing amazing things in our lives oh my gosh i'm so excited i've been talking for way too long but i really hope that y'all enjoyed this video i hope that y'all took something from it and if you haven't heard those songs i definitely recommend you listen to them if y'all want to share your experience with me down below i would love that if you feel comfortable with that if not my instagram is down below if you want to dm me if you want to talk more about this i love y'all so much and i hope that y'all know how much the lord loves you thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart for watching this video it means a lot to me and if you did enjoy this i would really love it if you subscribe down below if y'all have any other things y'all want me to talk about or any other videos you want me to do whether they're like this or just another video just let me know down below i hope y'all have a great day and thought you embrace y'all single season thank you so much for watching bye